Evening, XRP Future Millionaire here. It's 8.04 p.m. I have a class going simultaneously, but I'm just letting them get in. And I'm not really, my class knows I'm not really doing much today because of my son and taking care of Julie. She's having kind of a rough day. She's in a lot of pain. So I wanted to put this update out real quick. Um, kind of multitasking. But I will be back shortly. But as you guys can see, Bitcoin closed at 50800 and to me, just like XRP, now Bitcoin has successfully hit our target. We thought it could come up to the four-hour time frame. I'd be shocked if it goes up much higher than this. I dare say our volume's going down. So I think we're going to start to round here. We could, the only thing that I can see us doing, and I wouldn't be surprised, come up to here. Because technically that is the top part of this pattern. But I still think we're going to have a date with Destiny. And I, you know, we're doing the sideways and down. And we usually get a fake out before you finish the drop. So, being on a right shoulder, in my opinion, this makes all the sense in the world. We've talked about how with Bitcoin, if this is something like this, it's going to have to extend out. And we've, we've come up to that four-hour time frame now to where I'm feeling a lot better about this pattern than I was even a couple days ago. Because now it's doing what we want. Left shoulder, reversal, down, back, probably come up. I mean, right? Can swing around. You can do many different things with this. But when you bring it down to the end of the day, right now we have in the four-hour time frame. And we've come up over the daily now. But the four-hour time frame we're getting resisted on at 51,368. We're going to see if we have enough strength to get to 51,964 with Bitcoin. And with XRP, and then I'll let you guys go. I just wanted to give you guys some content so that you knew what was going on post-daily close. XRP had a chance to close over a dollar, and it was over a dollar for much of the day, but it could not close over that key $1 threshold in the daily time frame, which is, after all, correlating with what we were thinking. We came over the four hour time frame and we talked about could we go up to 98 cents and possibly have one dollar and one cent. We even talked about one dollar and six cents. But then we also talked if we broke a dollar one, it probably wouldn't just go to a dollar six. It would likely go to probably a dollar thirteen. And but to me, this is right where it's meeting perfectly. And this is if I had to guess, we could have some problems here. This is the downtrending resistance. We have a little pump up here before the little airdrop for solo. So it all lines up pretty good, so make sure you pay attention to this update. I'll be back in a little bit. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys know it's a little difficult with uh, Julie's foot. It's only, you know, she came home on Monday, so she's had Tuesday, Wednesday, now it's Thursday, and she's feeling the whole bit of pain from it. So I appreciate all the prayers, all the good wishes. Stay blessed, everybody, and hit that like button.